From the Douglas County Courthouse at 8700 Hospital Drive, this is 8700. Hello everyone, I'm Rick Martin. Welcome to this episode of 8700. Today, I have the wonderful opportunity to take a grand tour of fleet management. Come join me. Welcome hey. to fleet management. Hey, thank you so much, fleet management. Speaking of fleet, Gary, fleet, since I've joined the county, since I've joined Douglas County, seems to be one of the most valuable departments in the county in terms of its services. Tell me a little bit about Fleet. Okay, I'd be glad to. The first thing is, this is Heath Coward. He is the Assistant Director of Government Services. I'm the Director of Government Services, and we have the responsibility of overseeing Fleet Management and a Solid Waste Department, which is the landfill. So we get half a day here, half a day at the landfill. Got it. At the end of the day, this is a brand new facility, not new, but it's been remodeled, reconditioned, retrofitted to what you see now. Mm -hmm. It's been a long haul. But we moved from a 13 square foot, built 13,000 square foot building to a 36,000 square foot. So we tripled our space, which wow. has allowed us to increase our productivity. So just that simple. Great, great, great. And you know, one of the key things you do is you manage when vehicles of the county, such as the fire department, fire trucks, sheriff's office vehicles, and ambulance units, when they go down, That's you're correct. responsible for getting them back up. Isn't that true? That is true. And they're combined. There's about 40 departments that we support for the county with a total budget of $2.8 million. And that does not include salaries. That's just parts, inventory, outside repair, in that situation. And wow. Believe it or not, there's some large departments. It's got a lot of vehicles. Surprisingly, Parks and Recreation is one of them. Wow, that's good to hear and good to know. And since you've uh, moved into uh, some new offices, why don't you show me around a little sure. bit? Sure, be glad to. Thank you. All right, as we make our way down, the uh, this would be considered the upstairs or the administrative area because okay. it's going to be utilized and occupied. We've not got to that point yet, but very, gotcha. very close. Okay. So this is our bunk room during okay. the inclement weather. Got People, it. They're here all night. They can lay down, take a nap, get back up, do whatever they got to do. Yeah, like with icy road conditions. Exactly. And sure. Inclement weather, severe weather really impacts you guys. And This room here is the conference room or the training room. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Where you have your meetings. That's correct. Got you. Got you. A little uh, administrative. Do you do you have morning meetings every morning or not just yet? Periodic. Not yet. The, okay. You know, as gotcha. you know, we just lost our 32-year uh, employee fleet manager. Danny Agan. That's correct. Yes, and uh, we're gonna miss him. So we're all regrouping, reassigning task and responsibility. Mm -hmm. This will be our media training room and conference room. Okay. So really glad that we never had this before. So this is new. That's new, correct. New times. Exciting times, I guess, too, yeah, as well. Huh? Yes, it is. Awesome. Yes, it great, is. Great, great. Thank you for showing us this. This office here will be the, uh, the ride share coordinator. Okay. This will be his office. Okay. So and, ride share will be in here. And uh, not, not full time, kind of like mm -hmm. Heath and I, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll share their time. Okay. And, uh, that's, your, that's the ride share bays right there, the first one, two, three, four of them. So he can look out there and see how many vehicles he's got sitting, how many gotcha. he needs to get in there, and uh, take it from there. There'll probably be two desks in here. Okay, and so you're coordinating with Gary Watson, that, director. Yeah. Gary will probably have a desk in here. Okay, okay, so. super, great. All right, let's, let's check out the other room, but this is good, good space, some good space. Okay, let's go back down the hall. Okay, super. Yeah, so now this is some good, nice space. I 
You have restrooms up here as well? We do. Men and women's restroom up here. Okay. Now this area here is quite exciting. Nothing that we've ever had before. We never had a freight elevator before. Now we do. That's for the tires and the heavier wheels. This space here. So that's a freight for, elevator over there. It is. Wow. It is. Wow. Okay. And uh, this space here is for property management. Okay. They uh, store a lot of their stuff that they use. They they never had a warehouse before. Mm -hmm. And you have it locked. Uh, that's correct. To, it's to, locked to maintain and to separate the the two departments when it comes okay. time to uh, if you need something. You got to call them and ask them the same thing with them. So. Got you. Got you. All right. All right. Cool. Let's see what's next. Gary, thank you. Thank you for uh, upstairs. Yes, sir. Showing us upstairs, the administrative area. I'd like to introduce you to Ross Clark. Ross Clark, Mr. Clark. How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Good. Pleasure to, pleasure to meet you there. He is our acting fleet manager okay. due to Danny's retirement. Gotcha. So gotcha. this is where he works from. Okay, super. He, he still has to work on vehicles now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Multi-talented. Gotcha. And, uh, Multitasker. What we, what we do have that I have not mentioned is, and maybe we can get to it a little bit later, is the specialty items that we have that relate directly to fleet. Okay. We don't use New World that much. Okay. And so that's been quite a productivity enhancer for us, too. Gotcha. Okay, okay. super. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice Thank you much. Nice meeting you as well. Come on, Heath. Um, okay. <laughs> that's great. Okay. Thank you. This is going to be our parts and inventory room and where people initiate the work orders through okay. that glass gotcha. right there. Parts and inventory. Awesome. Hey, how you doing? This is Shantae. Shantae. It's Shantae. That's my middle name. I just gave you my middle Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you, Shantae. You too. You too. What do you do here? I'm an inventory clerk. Okay, yes. super. Super. So basically, when they come up and order parts, I order for them or get them off the shelf. Wow. Now, anybody that comes in that needs work, service, or repairs, they come to this window. That's where okay. it's initiated. Okay. And she does that. Sometimes they'll just come in and ask for a set of wiper blades. Mm -hmm. And she'll hand those right through the window, yeah. inventory. And uh, if you could have seen the old parts and inventory room, uh -huh. you'd know why we appreciate this one so much. Wow. Well lit, clean. Uh, and this is like a little, house. like, yeah, this is like a little, uh, you know, auto store, pet is that, boys exactly. or something like that. And the if, if we don't carry, and we do not carry that much inventory, we get directly from Napa, O'Reilly, that's just up the road a mm -hmm. block. It's here within five minutes. And what's a key thing to understand too for um, our viewers is this is really, you service just our county departments, our that's, county departments. That's correct. So it's not open gen to the general public. That's correct. But, you know, there's such a, a demand of work that needs to be done. That really is the importance of what you guys do. That's correct. Wow. That's correct. Wow. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. All right. I'll bring you back to the shop area, but I'd like to take you to the other portion of our administrative offices is right down the way on the right. Okay. Gotcha. Next one, next one. Next one. All looks like, man. Yeah, yeah. The box is thrown, man. Yeah. Wow. Uh, in here. Okay. All right. So this is the administrative manager's office. Okay. And her assistant. Okay. Now, I think they probably heard us coming. Yeah. And they so, left. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah. But, uh, but this is, okay. Vicki Stevens has been with the county 15 years. Gotcha. And Quinn Smith has been here about five years now. Okay. I'm really proud to have them. They do a, as you can see, they do a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they help you manage things and they do and they you. do okay. and we we bill each department just like a dealership would invoice a customer we mm -hmm. invoice the departments okay. and that's what they do gotcha all day gotcha. long 
handling the paperwork, the invoices. That's correct. Um, you know, procurement. I and, see it. And everything. So. Okay. Purchasing. Okay. Let's head on out. Let me take you right here to the where we change tires at. Oh, okay. Great. All right, again, this was a step up for us in as much as we was able to have more equipment, making uh -huh. it easier on the guys to, uh, the, the, the tire specialist is probably one of the most valuable employees that we have. Really, the tires? And, well, and then, you know, same thing, a truck tire, oh, yeah. fire truck tire. And so there's a little bit of cooling going on in here. Uh, having tires either down here or upstairs on the freight elevator I described earlier. Mm hmm okay. So okay. that's where we're at with this. Great. Step out here? Yeah, let's do that. This is some big bays. Yes, sir. Wow. All right. Rideshare gets the first four bays. Okay. They funded that through federal grant money. Okay. And so this is designated for them only, okay. and uh, we've not made that transition fully yet. Gotcha. And then the, the tire operation in there, here, that bay right there, and then the lift here. And okay. That's how that deal works. Okay. Super. All right. Great. So this is this is on the, the building we call the light side. Okay. Even though through here there's some large trucks coming yeah. through. Light side. Exciting over here. We've got some activity. Okay, so anything less than about it's got six tires and wheels on it comes here. Okay. Sheriff's Department of Vehicles, the buses, vans, pickup trucks, and uh, one of the things that we added was we got a, a an alignment machine. Never had it before. Okay. We would have to farm out out, pay really? a vendor to do it. So now when vehicles for the county have um, trouble with their alignment and need to be realigned, they can really bring it here yes, and you sir. can provide that service. That's correct. Right. That's correct. So we're saving money essentially then. That's exactly right. Okay. Now, the other thing we did by having the additional square footage is each technician now has two bays. They have one with no lift and one with a lift. No lift, lift. That way they're never waiting on parts. If they're waiting, they jump over on the other vehicle and keep working. That's where the productivity comes in. Got you. And uh, all the lights here are new. I do need to uh, shout out a little bit to the property management guys. Yeah. They did all this work. Wow, property management, huh? In-house. Oh, wow, man, These teamwork. Are LEDs and uh, saving electricity and making it brighter. Wow. Collaboration. That's it. Teamwork. All right. Teamwork and collaboration. Love it. All right. Step out the large door here. Sure. Gary, I really feel the excitement that you have in yourself with seeing the transformation of your department. Man. Something else. Wow. Something else. Awesome. You know, we got to shout out to the Board of Commissioners for funding it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Oh yeah. So this is where the vehicle stage right here. Okay. And these are waiting to come in. Okay. And have work done on them. Gotcha. And uh, they're in, then they're out. They go to that back row. Okay. We get in touch with the department and say, "Come get them. It's ready." Gotcha. And now we're also going to build a new filling facility down here that'll take the place of the one at Chicago Avenue. So when Brand vehicles, new. so when vehicles need their own fueling for the county vehicles, they can come here. That's right. Correct. Now we're about about. 18 weeks out okay. on that project. Okay. So it's going to be a little while. Yeah. But it's going to be, if you use the facility at Chicago Avenue, mm -hmm. you know how bad we need that. Absolutely. And it's, it's happening. It's on the way. Okay. That's good. That's good. But, you know, I see ride share. I see the fire truck, uh, ambulances, sheriff's vehicles, and other county vehicles. That's right. Um, all waiting to service. They all come here. Yeah. But, I, you know, what's, what I'm seeing that's a really pretty much a testament to you guys the parking lot's not full. So basically, exactly. you guys are succeeding in a sense of you're getting the work done and you're getting the vehicles back on the road. True. 
Oh man, crew. I applaud you guys. Thank Great you. job. Thank you Great so job. much. All right, let's go to the large truck side and the fire truck side. Sure. Large truck side and the fire truck side. That's We're right. heading to. Okay. Great. I like these little signs here. You know, That's customer service, still, service still and customer a, waiting. Still got a few things on the punch list to do. <laughs> Oh man, but this is great because you know employees aren't going to see this. All right. So what you see here is this is one of our technicians. This is his service truck. He's on call 24/7. Okay. Plus working here. And uh, Ross was the other on call guy. Okay. He's sort of filling in here. Now, when but, you say on call, like you're texting, they're on call 24 hours? 24-7. 24-7. They, wow. they get the call, they got to go. Okay. Same thing we talked about. Fire truck goes down, ambulance goes down. Sheriff's Department, you can get a record to haul them in. Okay. These trucks, not going to happen. Gotcha. Uh, this is something new we got in the budget. It's called, a, these are post lists. You can okay. use four or six or a combination of whatever. And that's what gets them up instead of the old I used to have to lift up, yeah. crawl up underneath them. Don't have to do that here. Just get them up. Wow. It's, it's great. This, this is Doug Turner. He's hey, our emergency, hey, Doug? emergency vehicle technician. He's certified. Just got back from, where was it? Minnesota? Where'd you go to? Yeah. On the pump training. Oh, okay. You know. Oh, great, great. So these guys have to keep their certifications okay. up. Okay, got you. And so they're certified um, yearly, once a year, a couple Tip, years? We like to send them every, you get a different class every year. Okay. And then you have to make sure you keep your credentials updated. Yeah. And uh, so you do that. But you can see this ladder truck right here. That's pretty impressive. We never had a place that we could do that at the old place. Wow. And what's impressive as well, too, is you're able to work in a covered environment. True. True enough. Yeah. How can true you, that is. Can you extend the ladder? So we're saying we never had that capability before, yeah. so we could do that under, under shelter. The truck on the end down there is what we consider a large truck. That's a DOT dump truck. Okay. Same thing. So using the same jacks. Yeah. And, uh, really? Okay. Technician gotcha. can get up underneath there and do what he needs to do. Gotcha. And this time of the year, it's critical because they're paving. Really? They got to have those trucks running. Yeah. Yeah. Department of Transportation, it's essential for them so they can Absolutely. continue the paving on the roadways, really to help the drivers in the county. That's true. Okay. That's true. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. That's the grand tour. Now, grand if you want tour. anything more detail, we can awesome. do that. Awesome. No. You know, the grand tour is essentially what what we wanted to show our viewers, right? Um, you know, Fleet Management Services, a department that is not widely known to the public, right. but is so essential and critical to provide services that the public benefit from. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How, how long have you been? Tell me a little bit, Gary, how long have you been? 20 years. 20 years. I started with the city of Atlanta. Okay. I went to Fulton County, mm -hmm. I went to Cobb County, ended up here. Wow, wow. Summer. And I mean, it's sort of, you know, just in our conversations, it seems like the way things have been for you to see this transformation from where you were before to where you are now, there's a fulfillment of accomplishment. Tell me a little bit about that, that excitement. Well, it's always hard in the government sector to get funding, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, that's the whole key. With funding, you can get employees with funding, you can get tools, you can get equipment, you can get facilities. And uh, it comes down to it that it's, it's just probably once in a career that something like this happens. Wow. Wow, Gary. Hey, I can't thank you enough for this time. Absolutely. Thank you. Opportunity and experience. Thank you for coming out. You know, a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Yes, sir. Thank you. Know? you. Take care. Bye-bye.